Can you seriously believe this place, guys? Wow, this is amazing. Sugamano, suhurte? Sugamano. This is Ruben guys, welcome back to another episode of Life Number 6. If you've been following the series guys, you know, being in Trivandrum for a few days, and now it's time to move on a little bit north. The first place that I want to stay is Barcala. I've read that the beaches are incredible and I felt like it's gonna be a little bit more touristic vibe, which is gonna be a nice transition from the city to then get into the mountains. First thing first is to get the transport to go there, but as I have been editing the whole morning, uh, it's one in the afternoon already, so I have decided to get a private transport to go there. You can book or Uber or taxi, and I'm gonna get to finally explore one of the most beautiful beaches here in the south of Sri Lanka. Oh, my friend, thank you so much for everything. I appreciate it. Guys, the treatment I got in here, it's been great. The, ho the hotel that I've been staying here is called Blue Way, Residency Boutique Hotel, blah, blah, blah. People have been really nice and kind to me, but it's time to move on. Hey, bro. And the backpack goes here and everything's up. Thank you, man. Take care. Hello, my friend. A lot of traffic, no? Eh? Okay, we got traffic, cars. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Take care. That's a nice people. All right, time to head to Barcala, guys. Barcala, good? Yeah, good. Very good. <laughs> okay, guys, we are arriving already in Barcala. We just stayed a couple more kilometers to get to our place. Uh, I decided to stay on a hostel today. Uh, I got my private room just so I can drop all the luggage and uh, socialize a little bit with people ask questions for people that is probably been traveling in Kerala for a little bit. The lost hostel or something like that and the name really is accurate because <laughs> you just need to get to the beach area and from there the hostel should be there. I can't wait to drop the luggage, get some food and show you a little bit around guys. Yo, I'm loving the vibes here guys. Beautiful. Yeah. I would love some watermelon. Yeah, thank you. Let me drop the luggage, my friend. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, this works for me. It's so hot, though. Oh, air condition is gonna be oof, amazing. Oh, let me drop all of this. It's like this kind dude in the front door. On arrival, just saying if I wanna have some watermelon, I would love to have some watermelon. Oh, let me drop this. Oh. Hey, man. Do you mind if I film? Because I'm making a YouTube video. This is like the perfect intro for. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friend. Ah, oh, so kind. <laughs> How are you guys? All right. So I'm a little walking on this touristic area, right? I'm a little bit hungry, so maybe we can find some good place to eat and explore a little bit the city. It is actually so cool that it's up the mountain, so we have the cliff under us. Oh, and the views, and the beach, and the day, oh, makes me so happy, guys. Chivando was lovely, but I was so ready to come to this new vibration. This feels a little bit more hippie-ish. Oh, wow, the cliffs there are amazing. I'm gonna show you in one second. And I feel I'm gonna stay here for a couple of days, guys. Uh, someone told me inside of the hostel that I can get a scooter if I want to, so it might be great to explore a little bit the area. Look at this, wow. This feels like a monster touristic area, ain't it? Wow! This is it! I move here! Got a new pair of sunglasses that I broke mine. That's gonna come on the way, guys! That's gonna come on the way! What an incredible vibration! And that beach looks insane! So perhaps it's gonna be a nice point to go down there later to have some sunset, some juice or something. I'm having a, a little bath, no? A little bath! Okay, 
Look at this. It just stretches until the end. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's actually crazy. I thought there were barely any tourists in the in Kerala right now, but once you come here, you understand. But it's very smart. They really know where to select. This entirely packed with foreigners and with Indian people traveling around as well. This is beautiful. Bro, this touristic road is massive. I've been walking for 10 minutes and it keeps going and going and going. It seems that slowly we are getting away, or not, from the these small stores that are on the right side of me. Uh, but the more that we keep walking, the more that it continues appearing. It feels that we are, might be reaching right now an area more dedicated to hotels and stuff like that. But so far, it's been 10 minutes walking, guys. Okay, so we are in the Black Beach. That's been a big stretch walking, guys. Maybe 15 minutes from Barcala Beach. I'm gonna eat kind of close to where I'm supposed to be staying because I haven't done the check-in properly yet. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna make your time lapse so you actually notice how big this place is. Keeps going, I'm just tired to hold the camera like this for 20 minutes. <laughs> what a view, eh? Zero complaints. Mm. Delicious. Holy smokes, I am so full. I think I'm gonna sit down somewhere, I'm gonna look somewhere nice to have a coffee. Get some views and we can talk a little bit about the experience of what we're gonna do in the next couple of days, right? Ah, oh, this place is gorgeous. So you have here the access to one of the beaches down here, guys. We have the security guard. He allows you or not allows you to come in. It's a very steep going down, as you can see there, guys. Beaches over here. It's quite a lot of people. I thought these kind of like hippie and chill vibrations would come eventually. I just didn't expect it to come like basically the next place since leaving Trivandrum. I anticipated here just one or two days, but as I mentioned before, I'm considering renting a scooter and trying to explore the area a little bit better. The south of Kerala is so beautiful, guys. I am so comfortable right now. I'm getting closer to the golden hour, guys. I'm gonna get the swimsuit. I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna check how the water is in. Hey, let's go to the beach. Can you seriously believe this place, guys? Wow, this is amazing. I'm not a massive fan of giving full recommendations because in reality, everyone's experience and everyone's tastes are different one from another, but I can tell you, 100% recommend <laughs> This place is incredible. Oh, I feel like the only thing that I'm doing in this video is just like praising the place, but oh my gosh. Let's see if we find a good spot for us to put the towel and relax for a little bit. This is so crowded right now, guys. It's so endearing, guys. There's so many families, so many kids enjoying with the parents. Uh, so many tourists actually enjoying as well with the book. Wow, I understand why this place is 100% the most popular beach here in Kerala. Every person that I've been talking to and when I was saying that I wanted to go to the beach, they were always recommending like Barcala. But now I get it. Like now I really get it. Like this is ridiculous. Look at this. <laughs> Crap, this is so gorgeous. Tips to enjoy the beach as a boss. Bring your book. Bring your towel. Bring your speakers. Relax and have fun. And guys, if you have more spots like this one in Kerala, please tell me because I'm in love with this. Ah, oh, I 
good afternoon from paradise guys so yesterday afternoon yesterday night guys i sat down in the hostel i met some people and i socialized a little bit and this morning is being a pure retreat for me i've been editing very relaxed had a coffee and now it's about time to go explore the other side of the city it's actually really cool that the touristic area is basically on a cliff so the things that i showed you yesterday if you can imagine that's where all the stores are many of the bars restaurants hotels but this is actually around 25 minutes walk 30 minutes it's around two kilometers distance from the banking areas where all the tms are and i'm assuming the city center so we're taking today a small detour so i'm heading to the city to see how it looked us and when i get some cash because one thing to think on when you come here as many of the restaurants and many of the hotels they don't take payment by card so it's actually quite smart to come with some good cash if you don't want to make like a small detour to go to the city to go to the banks uh, because also Arcala is very touristic so the prices here I can tell you that are a little bit more pricey than what it was for example in Trivandrum I really like the feeling of being on a hill you have like these tight roads in a way that lead down to Barcala Beach, which is very beautiful and the entrance is very nice. It's filled up with small stores. You can get some ice cream, you can get some uh, items until you get to this area in which like now we're walking on the middle of the roads. This seems to be houses, properties, villas. I'm assuming that all this area is touristic all the way around. So maybe the places where like the local people is actually living is a little bit more outside of the beach area and the touristic part. Hopefully the prices in the city is a little bit cheaper because there's some stuff that I need to buy like sunscreen, I should buy a new pair of sunglasses because I broke mine. So let's see if the prices are a little bit different and let's see what's the vibration on the city. There's such a little people here. Hello guys. So little people here guys, this is so great and so comfortable to walk by. Zero stress. I feel like, like my heartbeat is slowed down in this city. The city is less crowded than the beach area. And I feel like guys I arrive here, it feels like my heartbeat slow down. It's such a peace in this area. I'm, I'm generally in love with Barcala so far. Alright guys, just got some cash to pay all the hotel situation. Uh, I owe money to one of the restaurants because I didn't have any cash to pay, so I'm gonna have to, whenever I go back, I'm gonna have to fix all these issues. But so far it's a little bit hot here. I think what I'm gonna try to look for is a place to get a juice or something refreshing. Namaste, uh, Maybe, oh, maybe something around here. Let me see, let me see. It seems there's not much more going on here. Uh, most of the establishments that you have on the city are like or gyms or tire stores. It's like everything that goes unrelated to tourism. Yeah. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to catch up that sunset in the cliff side again. Maybe with some refreshment. I haven't tried the beer yet in India. It can be a great way to finish with a good note. Such a relaxing, uncomfortable video. You know this channel focuses many times on adventure. But I have to tell you, I love filming these things. It's very relaxing and I love giving preach to places like this that makes you feel so comfortable when you arrive. I mean, come on, look at this. From here to Helipad, how much? What do you think? I only have like 520. You have change? You have 400 cash? Perfect, thank you, man. I know it's a tiny bit overpriced, we're good with that. Sugamana or Suhurte? Sugamana. Good? Sugamana. Sugamana. Oh, Sugamana. I mean, look at this tropical vibe, guys. Alright, so we just arrived to the helipad area, which is the touristic part. The sky is so clean, guys. It's so flipping beautiful. I'm gonna try to catch up the last piece of sun from the beach. Wow. Holy crap. 
crowd. Today is very crowded down here, guys. Beautiful. This is such a nice vibration, guys. This is so crowded. Oh, one of the coolest things about Cala in the cliff area is that like it gets so lighted up and it's such a nice walk to come here you can see everything here is shiny right now I feel like I'm gonna have to eventually do a shopping rampage here. It's so nice, everything seems so comfortable. But I think what we have to do right now is to find a good spot to have dinner. I think I'm gonna go drop my bag and try to find a good spot to eat. But I freshened up guys, I had a good shower and I went to have some dinner. I had some delicious chai and had a good rice mixed with vegetables and some chicken. The music was very loud so I couldn't generally film anything in there. Final load on Barcala, guys. This is a great place to do yoga. There's so many people actually uh, coming here for retreatments. Uh, they have offers for staying for one month with food, accommodation, and everything included. So I am going to drop the video here, guys. I have been enjoying so much Barcala. I think I'm gonna stay a couple more nights so I can explore a little bit and make some shopping around. And I'm gonna rent a scooter perhaps and just explore a little bit of the area. So if you're curious about seeing a little bit more about this place and Kerala in general, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.